What is up guys, today is Sunday and of course that means survival of the fittest. Today I'm going to be working on the tower that I'm creating in this Minecraft world to give a bit a little bit of a lookout for uh, other people to come and join me later on. But without further ado, today's commentary will be on cheating and how I feel about it and what it, it does to uh, video games in general. And to start off, I'm going to be talking about cheating in uh, Call of Duty games and first person shooter games and things like that. Well, the main form of cheating people see is like um, using modded controllers or parts of the game that aren't originally there, which that. I'd say it's what bothers me the most, that when people go out and buy things to help them do better in the game. That's pretty much the worst and most uh, prevalent form of cheating in the Call of Duty universe. And for uh, like other cheating is more rare. When people are actually hacking the game and putting their own things in, I think that, well, one of two things. One, it is just, it's, it isn't bad. I, I mean, it is bad. It's uh, not good for the community, and it doesn't make you any better to do that. However, on the opposing viewpoint, that I, I always like to see both sides of every story, they shouldn't be allowing them to do this. They should have uh, safely locked doors and make it so they can't hack the game. And them being able to get in shows that the game has not is not foolproof it's it will never be foolproof there will always be some way to get into the game but they need to definitely make it harder and there's been a lot of uh using all these kind of cheats recently there you can look up black ops 2 cheats right here on youtube and you'll find tons of results you'll find just massive amounts of games of people cheating and things and that I do agree that's bad I don't like having a cheater in a multiplayer game it just bothers me and it makes that them appear that they're better but we all know that it doesn't actually make them better it's just what they're doing has an advantage which is not a fair one at that and Another uh, viewpoint of pe some people is that we should all just cheat, and it's, everybody's doing it, so why shouldn't we? Well, my, the simplest answer that I can think of to this is because that it just ruins the morals of the society, and it just makes the entire thing bad. We don't... It just doesn't seem like that's how we want to be for a, a whole thing. If everybody is cheating, everybody's doing all this stuff, What's the point of the original game? What's the point of having fun? What's the point of doing anything if all it's going to do is come free to you? And there's a lot of people who, in the early on in the Black Ops 2, used a Prestige Master glitch that was in, just happened to be in the game. And I was aware of this. I knew that people were doing it, and I could have done it. I really have wanted to get to Master Prestige, and I've done it just recently and I worked for it and I'm proud that I got there by myself without using a cheat or a hack or being 155% newbie all the time. I, I tried to do as good as I could in multiplayer and I fi it finally paid off with Master Prestige and makes you feel good. But cheating and heck even like camping and stuff after a while, it just doesn't make you feel good, it's not fun, and it just makes the game pointless, really. And the whole modded controller, I guess, business is really uh, ta not taking off, because it's already happened, but it's getting so prevalent, so many people use it, it's just not a place that we want to be, really. You don't want to have it so everybody is just using all this stuff because if it was originally meant to do that, why why would 
it be allowed, like, why wouldn't it be allowed in championships for, like, MLG Pro Tournament and stuff? Why would it have all, all these restrictions? Heck, in Black Ops 2 League Play, they've had to ban the FAL in Champions, which is what I've been playing. I've been doing as work, I've been working a lot on this newest season, and they've banned the FAL because people will just abuse it. They've already worked with the controllers, they've already made it uh, like that, and I'm not talking about like scuff brand controllers or anything where it's like certified to be in like tournaments. Like I'm talking about places like uh, off the top of my head, I've heard of like Evil Controllers. I've heard of uh, Pro Mods, Mods Armory, and all of these businesses just to help you cheat and to help you cheat to win. And I just don't think it's right or fair that the people will do this stuff. And I know it's kind of contradictory having the same opinion, well, the opinion as I do with the uh, hacking thing, which is they need to make it better. They can't exactly stop you from having a modded controller. I mean, yes, they can not allow you to play your online services, but they can't have you take it away. You can just create a new account and do it again. Plenty of people have done this, I'm, and it's an extremely small amount of people that actually get banned when they do stuff in Call of Duty and things, because I'd imagine it would just be hard for them to make money, which, yeah, they will lose money by people cheating and people and leaving the game because the game is so unfair. But, as of this point, I really hope they will eventually just stop using modded controllers or find some way to fix it so they just don't work in their games. That'd be probably the best thing that they could do for the um, community. And for any of you guys, if you do use modded controllers to play in online games, just please stop. Like. It hurts everybody, it, it hurts yourself, it just gives you a handicap and doesn't make you any good. It makes you, uh, just, you're just using that, that that's what's good, it's not you. So you strive to be the best player you can be, just don't use a modded controller or something like that. Now, in other news right now, uh, me and Primal Hedge, uh, if you guys don't know, we're brothers, and so we uh, are currently debating whether or not we should buy the Xbox 720. Well, I mean, sorry, the Xbox One. And th there are definitely reasons for doing both ways. For, it's $500, which is uh, a lot of money when you don't have a high paying job or a job for much at all to say but uh, I'd actually like some of your guys input if you guys have any uh, input on this or for um, doing this whatsoever that'd be great uh, we're at this point we're probably um, going to be getting the Xbox one but that also means that we will not be able to play Ghosts until late December, early January. Which will do a lot of damage to the channel. Because there's going to be a lot of uh, people who are going to want first games and stuff. And so we may hold on to the Xbox 360 for a, a little while. And eventually save up for the Xbox One. Which I don't know if that will do as much damage to the channel not having the Xbox One as early because we will have the uh, ghosts anyways. So, I'd love your guys' input on that if you have it, and I'm gonna probably just end um, video right here, well, end talking right here, so you guys can um, get uh, watching the rest of the video. You can see me right here taking down a the final bits of this large tree, and um, Please like and subscribe and just share it with your friends, share it with everybody, uh, trying to get this thing big. And if you guys uh, have not heard this yet, I'm going to 
just throw a little bit of a sneak peek. We are m creating our own MLG Pro team. Then we should be going to Pro Championships soon, actually. Hopefully, for Ghosts, we will be going to Spring or Winter Championships for that. And I think that would be pretty cool for our channel, getting us a lot bigger. And um, that's that's about it. So. Thank you, and I will see you guys on Tuesday with an awesome new Epidemic episode. I will see you guys on Tuesday. Thank you.